Welcome one and all back to the Valiant City here, the man named Jack and Best Thigh. <laughs> Attached to Strawberry. We're playing Dongan Ropa, Trigger Happy Havoc, and a voice is cutting through the noise, interrupting Mundo. That's his name now, it's Mundo. It's not Mondo. Mundo. Goes where he pleases. Yeah, I, I, I don't know what to do with this. You're all spending an awful lot of time yelling and carrying on. Hmm? Do you really think you can afford to do so? Have none of you accepted the reality of the situation? I mean, as long as nobody kill each other, we can just chill here and eat free food, right? Yo! Kyoko, where the heck have you been? We already started the meeting without you. I'm deducting five points from your house. What house are you? You're a Slytherin, aren't you? Mm. She didn't say a word. Instead, she just dropped a piece of paper on the table. Huh? What's this? A map. Duh. It appears to be a map of Hope's Peak Academy. A map? What the? Where did you find this? What the wow. balls? It doesn't matter where I found it. What the heck? It does matter. You're really freaking us out right now. But more important. Never mind that. What's it mean? It would seem... Just look at it. The building we're in right now is laid out in precisely the same way as Hope's Peak Academy. So what you're saying is, this really is Hope's Peak Academy. That's true. Well, in terms of construction, yes. But it looks like it had a number of some strange renovations done to it. Renovations? However... I don't know all the details yet. All I found was details about the first floor. Um... Were details. But then, this is really Hope's Peak. We didn't get kidnapped and taken into some other place. Huh? So stupid, it's not even possible. This is where the country's future elite are supposed to come and learn? You are a gangster. You are not this country's future. Probably. Uh, I mean, he's not a part of any good future. Yeah, I... But if this really is Hope's Peak, where are all the other students? Yeah, they're probably all dead. Or yeah. Oh, come on, guys. Let's stop talking about all this, you know, negative stuff. You're bumming man. me out. Let's just You're harshing my vibe, dude. You're marshing my mellow. Man, I could marshal mellow right about now. <laughs> Aren't you worried, though? Things don't look good. Yo! Why worried? should I worry? Man, what's there to be worried about? Why this should all I care? Out, right? People in charge of Hope's Peak put this all together, <laughs> right? Man, if I got stressed every time something like this happened, I'd have ectoplasm shooting out of my mouth. You know? My bro, I have two words for you. Hakuna Matata. <sighs> okay. What? Hakuna Matata. Ha Hakuna See, I was gonna go in a completely different direction with that. For good things come to those who wait. This is for those who wait. My song is more iconic. I'm willing to wait for it. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. I am the one thing in life I can control. Me, it's no worries. I am an end of the ball, I am unbelievable. I'm not running free. behind nor running late. Philosophy. What is it like in Hakuna history? Matata. Okay. Matata. 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 <laughs> <laughs> What's your problem? <laughs> Why are you laughing? What's so Toko, you funny? Toko, you need to calm the fuck down. <laughs> I am just happy, that is all. It seems splitting up to investigate was a good idea after all. <sighs> Haven't you been listening? Looking around was a total waste of time. Toku, you're a fucking downer. You are a Debbie Downer. You're the Mary Sue of Debbie Downers. We didn't find a way out. Didn't find who was behind all this. We still have no idea what's going on. You might have no idea what's fucking going on, but we are trapped in a murder high school. It's like, pay attention, Pay loser. attention! Oh. Huh? Is it not crystal clear to you what's going on? Is it not crystal clear? Are you are trapped. Okay with this? We are trapped in a murder high school, you dumb bitch. Yeah, I'm with Celeste. Like, were you not paying fucking attention? <laughs> I didn't read her line, but that's okay. I'm sure that's the equivalent of what she said. It's perfectly obvious we've been imprisoned in some secret location with no way out. Yeah, murder high school, that's what I said. We didn't want to accept that reality, but... 
It was staring us right in the face. <laughs> you didn't have to go and say that. I was just trying not to think about it. Well, then why did you bring it up? Toka was rapidly losing her shit. N no way out? We're trapped in here? What, what are we supposed to do? Kill Hifumi. <laughs> it's very simple. If you want to leave, you just have to kill. Stop it! Don't even joke about that. Um, everyone, just calm down, please. We need to stop and think about what to do from here. Seems like... It's gonna be something we can do. <laughs> All we can do is adapt. Adopt to living our lives here from now on. See, I like Celeste. Celeste knows... Celeste looks like she can take a bad hand and play it. That's... Live here? Or do you think we should just accept it? Do you understand? A lack of adapt... A lack of adaptability is a lack of survivability. Survival is not based on who is the strongest or the smartest. It comes down to who can adapt. Actually, as someone who has come out on top more than once, I have a suggestion. As someone who's come on top more than once. As someone who what? can only come out on top. Oof. What do you mean? Hmm. We all understand that we are trapped here, yes? Which means that we will be spending the night. However, you all remember the rule regarding nighttime, right? Ten to seven. Yep, yep, yep. All right. Oh, it starts at ten p.m. Okay. Yes, yes, we remember. Let's see. So regarding this nighttime, I think we need to add a rule of our own. What do you mean? <laughs> Going out at night time should be prohibited altogether. The school regulations do not actually tell us not to go out at night. I would like to make it official. Huh? But, but why? Are you okay with this? The way things are now, every time night comes, we will all start to get worried and anxious. <laughs> we will all be afraid of someone. We will all be afraid someone might try and come kill us. Huh? What? <laughs> if we all have to worry about the night after night for who knows how long, it will wear us down in no time. I see. So you're suggesting we limit our activity at night as a kind of preventative measure? Indeed. However, unlike the other rules, nobody can be forced to comply. We all have to agree to follow it. I think that's actually a good idea. One, just for self-preservation, lock your door at night. Two... The rule book doesn't say what areas are off limits at night. You don't want to accidentally step into the wrong room and get gunned down because you didn't know it was off limits. Mm -hmm. And three, you know, gotta get some good sleep. What can we do? I see what you mean, but like, I think I can agree to that. It's like the little goth Lolita said. Lol. <laughs> it's like the LGL said. Without something like that, we're just gonna self-destruct. Listen to me! On behalf of all the men here, I agree to comply! What? Hey, you can't just decide to speak for us. This is fine. So everyone is- oh, sorry. So everyone is in agreement. Good. <laughs> then if you would excuse me- Huh? Uh-huh. Wait, where are you going? Let's see... It is almost night time. I want to take a shower before it arrives. Oh, that's a good point. Right? I hope you are so, well. goodbye. See now, Celeste, I've got her pegged as one of the last people to go down, because she looks like she's smart, she looks like she thinks on her feet, and she looks like she is careful. A gambler knows how to hedge their bets. I don't know if or when she will kill someone, but I'm willing to bet that she is one of the long-term characters. Her behavior seems so natural. I couldn't imagine anyone even trying to stop her. Um, so, God, your eyes. So, so I guess it's pretty obvious where we go from here. We'll be spending the night, looks like. <laughs> Adaptability. Hmm. So, Mr. Chairman, what's next? One person already left. <laughs> uh, um, well then, what say we call an end to today's meeting? You understand? Like she said, it's almost nighttime anyway. We can reconvene first thing tomorrow morning. Huh? Do we really have to stay the night here? What can we do? We don't have a choice. We can't go for long without getting some sleep. Oh, this sucks. So we just have to give up. Well, 
Th that's all fine and good for today, but what, what do we do tomorrow? Do not borrow trouble from the future. Not just in games, but like as a life strategy, don't borrow trouble from the future. If you can do something about it now, do it. If you can't do something about it right now, don't worry about it. Preparation versus panic. Yeah, like, don't waste time worrying about something that you cannot alter. It's, it's not, it's not healthy. It doesn't accomplish anything. So in the end. So in the end, our only option is to split up and look around again and let everyone know if we find anything. Well, tomorrow's gonna be the first day of school. Something's gonna change. Hmm. Yeah, okay, let's do that. Aww. Then we're done for the day? Good. I'm exhausted. Yon, yon, yon. Heavy start. movements. Everyone headed off to their private um, rooms. Makoto, are you ready to call it a day? Yeah. Let's go back to my room, babe. <laughs> do, no, 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 is this really where I'll be staying for the foreseeable future? That's right, I should double check the bathroom. Only the girls' bathroom should have locks on them, right? Yeah. Rattle, rattle. Really is locked. Is wrong, not locked. Holy crap. Jeez, talk about an overreaction. It's like we just saw a ghost or something. What? Like some kind of robot. Bear ghost? A row bear ghost? What what are you doing here then? What? Makoto Nagi! This is super duper majorly bad! So bad it's almost magical! Ultra magical awful awful attack! Uh -huh. In point of fact, I acknowledge that the bathroom in your room has a problem with the door frame. Wait, so the reason it won't open isn't because it's locked, it's just because it the door doesn't hey, fit. Um didn't you see the notice? What, you can't read? Bathrooms in the boys' rooms don't have locks. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, a lock on a boys' bathroom is kind of pointless, don't you think? Wrong. Ba -bum, ba -bum. Well, it's not that pointless, I guess. But I'm no extra in the birds and the bees and all that. Listen up! No, you look like a guy who fucks with your belly button. <laughs> anyway, there's a little This has trick. a little Audi belly button. There is a little trick to opening this particular ill-fitting door, and that's what I'm here to teach you. Okay, ready? So you gotta turn the doorknob and then lift up while you pull. That's not a bad fitting door, those are loose hinges. You lift up on the door, tighten the hinges, you'll fix that right up. Yes, indeed! Go ahead, give it a try. Okay. Turn knob, lift up, door opens right up. <laughs> See, it opens right up. Isn't that crazy, though? Your door is the only one that doesn't fit quite right. <laughs> You're supposed to be the Mary Sue of luck, right? But it looks like you're not lucky at all. Bye. No, sir. Anyway, I suddenly don't feel like being any here anymore. Bye! So hey, you wait. have a certain kind of fetish. Does uh, Monokuma meet those standards of said fetish? I, uh, what? I don't want to say what you are. No. Oh. Okay. Monokuma's bro and entertainment. Okay. You don't, f you don't fuck the robot bear. First off, rule number one, do not fist android girls. <laughs> you give up a lot yeah. chasing a dream. It's yeah. my favorite pair of memes. Okay. Remember, oh, what movie was that? Uh, Titan Soul or something like that? There was some dude with an android hand and he looks at it like he lost the hand in like a treasure hunting expedition or something. But you, like, you put up the meme, do not fist android girls, followed by that screenshot of him looking at his, like, severed robot hand. Like, you give up a lot, chasing dream. He lost his hand chasing the dream of fisting an android girl. You watch very weird things. Titan Soul is a great fucking movie. Have you not seen it? It's going on the list. Anyways. No, please. <laughs> it's a good movie. No, no. Okay, you know, you, know, you know Atlantis? Imagine the movie Atlantis, but it's a completely different story, but all the same you're, characters. You're talking about Disney's Atlantis. Yeah. I don't like that movie. No? Okay, imagine that, but better in space. 
It's good, trust AKA me. AKA Treasure Planet, which is a good movie. Am I thinking of Treasure Planet? God, I don't remember. I mean, Anyways. Treasure Planet is in space. I might be thinking of Treasure Planet. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. Fuck, I missed my shower. As such, it is officially oh God, night time. The Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked. An entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Don't go to the dining hall. Look at, at him night. with his little margarita. <laughs> is that a margarita or is it a Bloody Mary? It might be a Bloody Mary, but I'm going to say it's a margarita. Head it looks a lot like the punch I was just drinking, honestly. <laughs> okay then. Sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Looks like it's nighttime. We all promised we wouldn't leave our rooms now. All I can do is try to get some sleep and collapse into bed. Eyes closed. Not that I was ready for bed. I was just utterly exhausted after sleeping literally all day. Like, you woke up, you go to school, you took a nap. You wake up, you go to the orientation, you get knocked the fuck out, you take a nap. You wake up, you do things for like... Well, I mean, I guess it was supposedly three hours they were at the dining hall, but he's taking another nap. Like, dude, you're the Mary Sue of naps. <laughs> Sleeping beauty, as they call it. It was as if I... Well, hold on. You're utterly exhausted, as if you'd spent the entire day staring at TV, watching movies. Bitch, get a fucking job! You work a 12-hour shift on your feet, then you'll know tired. You go to a hospital, you see the nurses work a 16-hour shift on their feet, then you know fucking tired. It's, it's not that deep, babe. They're tired. It's not that deep. Makoto's a bitch. He's a kid. He's a bitch. He's a kid. Uh, some an illusion tossed into a made-up fantastical world. Huh, it's almost like this game's a work of fiction. I mean, wouldn't you be exhausted if you were forced into sleeping and then you were knocked the fuck out? Being knocked the fuck out would not be pleasant and I might be tired. Mm -hmm. But, I don't know, I feel like I'd handle it better than most of these characters are handling it. Well, you're looking forward to murdering people, so that's different. Whereas Makoto, he's, he's a true... He's a true blue guy. He's so sweetie. Like, I'd probably handle it in the vein of Byakuya. Just like, ah, fine. Fuck. Come on. Stop being idiots. Let's do it. Okay. Food? Good. Shelter? Good. Stop fucking panicking. We have food and shelter. We'll survive the night. Nobody lose their shit. No easy way. Just accept it. There is an easy way. Just accept it. Just accept it. So that's how the curtain closed on my first day at Hope's Peak Academy. Soon enough, I was asleep. Would it be too much to hope that when I woke up, I'd realize it was all a dream? It's kind of lame as far as endings go, but I'd be fine with that. Actually, that'd be the best. That specific voice. Monokuma Theater? Mm -hmm. Oh, God. All right. I, I really want to see, can I, can I just like save in the middle here? Oh, you don't want to see him on a Kimba theater? I do, but I'm very tired. It's only 10.30. I worked all day. I'm tired. I would... Unlike this Mak Makoto, Maka, Makoto, Makuna Matata bitch. What's his name? Makoto Nayagi. Makoto Nayagi. He really does look like he belongs in a Kingdom Hearts game, I swear. I... maybe that's why I like him so much, because... <laughs> Anyways, that's all the time we have for today. Thank you all for coming, but I do hear my curtain calling, so I must bid you all adieu till I see you next time right here on the dark side. But until then, don't forget to tongue punch the like button on the way out.